you ever get some new information, maybe hear a riddle, and you were so stumped, the only thing you wanted to do or could do was was try to make a stump, an actual stump, but you, you just didn't know how. Well, that's not gonna be a problem for you anymore. We have several types of stump. For example, this one, which has Alan Grant hiding inside with a monkey. What are you doing in there, Alan Grant? And, and why do you... Monkey box. Oh no. I would recommend watching the uh, How to Make a Fallen Log video first. It, uh, it has most of the instructions. We're just going to be adding some things on uh, in the early stages of the build to turn it into a stump instead of a fallen log. You will need glue sticks, different types of craft moss, and some leaf things. The things. A tube. Any sort of tube, but if it's stronger and more durable, it's gonna be better. Paint brushes. Foam sheets. Some cardboard. Brown paint. Brown paint. Brown paint. Match paint. Black paint. Real tree. We want to take some of our foam and make uh, strips. You want to take the other part of your foam and just make big random uh, shapes. You can alter them later if you need to, or you can cut them as you go. It's up to you. I just, I like to prep stuff like this. In a perfect world, we would be making this out of paper mache. I'll do a video at some point showing how I mix up my paper maches. But uh, it takes way too long uh, to dry for it to be practical to do a how-to video, at least for me right now. And this is just an alternate method. Not everyone can make a big messy, 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 mess, messy mess with paper mache because it is a mess. Very messy mess. I'm kind of antsy about using uh, my cameras and phone and stuff with paper mache hands. You can start off like this. Glue three or four uh, root system. Glue in three or four major roots. And then you build it up into something like this. Next, you take your random foam pieces and you uh, basically just glue it in the whole way around, overlapping them a little bit until, uh, until the whole thing is covered pretty much. And don't worry about any little gaps here and there. You can fill it in with literally hot glue beads or you can use some of these foam strips later on. So once you have all this glued in and uh, your foam strips on, it's gonna look something like this. And you can add layers of, uh, of glue gun glue everywhere to kind of fill in any gaps that you might have. And after you apply the paint, if you still see any problem areas, you can use craft moss and uh, little bits of plant debris to, uh, to cover up those areas. Break off some parts of uh, old dried twig. And you glue it in uh, randomly, you don't have to. That's an, uh, it's an extra step you can just take. Then you uh, cut randomly chunks out of the top just to make it look as uh, random as possible because nature's not a box. All right, we got our uh, first paint application here. So we've started to put in some uh, craft moss. A great tip when you're, uh, when you're applying things like this is you don't really want to think about it. You just want to kind of let it fall where it does. And uh, once you practice at that, eventually it'll just be second nature and uh, you'll have like, kind of a smooth flowing chaos when you, uh, when you do your application of things like that. Smooth flowing chaos? Wow, did you come up with that yourself? All right, we continued with the foliage. Got some good stuff going on here. Uh, before I coat it with Mod Podge, I'm gonna give you a little uh, pro tip. If you don't like uh, stuff like this, if you want everything to be kind of professional looking, you can just trace out the shape of your uh, stump on some black uh, foam. This Mod Podge is so critical because it makes everything look so much more legit. Like if you, uh, if you paint an action figure and then you put Mod Podge over it, the action figure looks like it came from a store. There you go. 
nothing to it. Well, what's cool at this point is you can start to combine tutorials to create your own dioramas. So I've taken this tutorial, uh, made that stump, then I've taken the vine tutorial and the fallen log tutorial to make uh, the start of a forest diorama. My son, just look how natural the thing looks by you wouldn't know if it grew out at a table. 